Hello, this is Vampire, and here I'm going to be talking about some grips when using the Knuckle Tool Impact Ring. Uh, this is very compact, as you can see, and it's uh, very strong in construction, and it has very, very good design to it. Uh, the finger hole is nice and big enough that it's gonna, your finger will slip in no problem. If you are wearing gloves, you'll still be able to, to utilize this tool. And the grooves, the finger grooves that you can see right there, those are going to come into play. That's a nice uh, extra feature added in there. And also the uh, arrow shape right there is going to be nice. It's going to be uh, help you work well as a force multiplier. And also the angle right here gives it kind of like a blade capability as well. So the first and most obvious uh, grip I think is using the middle finger just like this slide it through and the grooves right here are going to come in handy for your index finger and your ring finger to rest right next to it and this is a nice and rude way to command respect from your enemy it's basically a punch enhancer but you could also drill in into like rib cage and other sensitive areas as well now the second grip is when you're using the index finger okay and actually it's at this angle so instead of pointing upwards it's going to be this way like a small pistol kind of like a, a derringer okay and this is the grip that you're going to be utilizing when you're going to be doing the improvised karambit that i showed in a previous video so this is the grip that you're going to be using the most for improvised karambit i like this grip actually a lot it's actually versatile because it's your index finger, it's like, it has more uh, dexterity. So because of that, you could even rest your thumb right here, and now you're gonna have cutting capability. Of course, you could punch straight in. That's gonna be no problem, because it sits very well like this. It's very strong, it's very strong. It, it doesn't move or anything. It, it, you could really grip it hard, and, and it's solid in your hand that way. Uh, but you could nick, you can slash, and of course you could drill into uh, weak areas, pressure point type things as well, okay? Uh, the next one that I want to talk about is similar, index finger, except it's going to be pointing upwards, okay? Just like this. So, this, very similar, but this was the one for the improvised karambit, okay? This is your pistol one. And now I'm just tilting it upwards like this, so it, it is upwards. To me, this works well for like an MMA type situation. I get the mount position and I can start hitting them like all on the side of the face, even the ear area. I could work the rib cage down here. So it's really good for MMA grappling type situations. Okay, and now another one that I want to talk about is now we're going to use the pinky finger this way. And this is basically your ice pick grip right here. Okay, so as you can tell, this is a hammer fist position. Hammer fist is a very strong strike, maybe limited in range but it works very, very well. Just, you can constantly attack this way and just break your opponent down using the, the uh, hammer fist. Very strong as well, okay? Now, one more that I wanna talk about that may be a little bit awkward at first, but you put it into your thumb. The thumb is very strong for retention, I feel. It, it feels very solid. And I could still maintain grappling ability from here. So if I am in a grappling situation, all I have to do is this if I feel like I'm gonna drop it, okay? And just grab grab it with the thumb and secure it with the other fingers okay but from here I could still grapple and if I do end up on the ground once again this goes back to that here let me show you the thumb comes down and the finger wraps around and this is that once again that MMA type usage okay where I could strike and chip away cause some cuts that way okay I could nick real quick and make the blood go into their eyes and stuff like that so to me, this is like for grappling type situation. It works very, very well for MMA, I think. Now, last two grips that I want to show you guys is basically uh, something that's super, super simple, but it's so simple that you may have forgotten about it. It's basically ones where you don't use the finger hole at all, and it's just like this, okay? It is short, yes, but because it's wide enough, because it is wide, you can grab it like this, okay? So this is just basically your standard grip, all right? Like if it was a knife, and then of course, an ice pick grip, same thing, okay? I'm not utilizing the finger hole, and you could just grab it like that. Feels solid, feels solid, because once again, 
it does have the width. The overall size is kind of like a dog tag, a little bit, uh, maybe a little bit longer, and definitely uh, has more width, okay? And it's so light, it's so compact that you can wear it like a dog tag on your keychain and basically forget about it. So it's not something that you have with you and you constantly feel it because it's so large. No, this is the strength of this thing is definitely the compact size. And I hope now you saw that actually, even though it looks very, very simple, there's a lot of different grips that come with it.